Jack o' Diamonds. Private Eye. That's what I keep telling people anyway. For some reason it says beautician on my door. I gotta get that changed. The paper released its annual top 10 worst detectives list today. I'll give you one guess who made number three. I was already steamed about that when she walked in. She was kind of cute, and I told her so. She said that she was flattered, but that she was a man. I said, come on, you think I'm going to fall for a line like that, sweetie? She got mad and started yelling at me. Then I said a couple things I probably shouldn't have. Somehow in the midst of all this, she convinced me to take her case. Something about missing tapes. I would have gotten more out of it, but I wasn't really watching her mouth, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I took the case. And to this day, I wish to God I had. Man, that enchilada ain't sitting right. Questions swirled around old Jack's head like hair at the bottom of a drain. Like, why cassette tapes? Aren't those obsolete? And why would some hot number like her need them? I was pretty sure I'd regret finding out. What the? I decided to hit up Denver Bob for some information. <laughs> hit up. Oh, hey, how's it going? Ow! Ow, man! Ow, it. Ow, man! Damn! What the, the hell, man? Crap. I forgot what I was gonna ask him. Maybe if I hit him some more. Ow! Jackpot. What the hell was that? <laughs> Jackpot. The case was heating up faster than a hot pocket in Satan's microwave. Little did I know that it was about to get hotter. Irina Yelsinov, ex-KGB, ex-Spetsnaz, ex-girlfriend. I have something for you. No thanks. I'm still smarting from the first one. Thanks. I have something else for you. Sorry, kid. There's another woman in my life right now. Jack, that's a man. Man, oh man. What a lady. No, not again. When I came to, I was on the floor of my office. Lucky punch, Irina. And then again, she always did swing first. The head mortician's name was Dr. Kyle Monroe. He graduated top of his class at Harvard Medical and was recently named number two mortician in the country by Collier's Magazine. He told me all about the victim's glazed metacarpals and coconut-sprinkled epidermis. That was a little odd. Then he told me about the special on jelly-filled intestines, only 95 cents for a baker's dozen. That 
That seemed a little odd as well, but it also seemed like a great deal. So hard to decide. I later found out that he wasn't actually a mortician. He was just a Dunkin' Donuts employee from downstairs. That made a lot more sense. He did give me the tape, though, which was nice of him. The intestines weren't half bad, either. I decided to give my out-of-town friend a ring. Moscow Bob isn't the brightest crayon in the box, but I wasn't interested in coloring. I needed information. The galloping hunter stalks the whining rabbit. In Soviet Russia, whining rabbit stalks galloping you. What's the good word, Bobo? In Soviet Russia, good word is you. Do you have a cassette tape for me, Bob? I thought we agreed on five million dollars. That's how much the suitcase cost. See you around, Babo. Wait, would you like to take advantage of two for one nuclear Wednesdays? No thanks. I don't support nuclear proliferation. In Soviet Russia, nuclear proliferation. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Looking for these? <gasps> you Philistine, you give those back! Why'd you do it? Why'd you snatch these tapes? They weren't worthy. They rejected my film. See, it was loosely based on my Dungeons and Dragons character, but peppered with hip hop culture references and Chuck Norris jokes. I was going to be the next DeMille. Or the next Yui Bowl. <gasps> you take that back! Me. <laughs> Cardigan. It's all over. We could be partners. I'll give you an associate producer's credit. No way. Got a good thing going here, and I'm not about to blow it. Veronica, I'm coming home. I'm Jacko Diamonds. I may be the third worst detective in town, but I'm getting laid tonight. <laughs>